Me and Tesco are back with easy ways with your festive favourites. We asked you what are the most common leftovers that you had in your home and you were loud and clear. So we've come back with three recipes of breakfast, lunch and dinner that are going to help you celebrate your Christmas leftovers. So I'm going to show you the most delicious Christmas toasty. It's a thing of joy and it's using up things that I know a lot of you have. We've got turkey, stuffing, ham, Brussels, carrots and we're going to have some fun with this and make it absolutely delicious. So you want to get, for kind of two nice toasties, a nice little handful of meat, a little bit of stuffing, take some ham there, and I'm just going to chop it up. Trust me, this is the thing to do. We'll take a few nice little Brussels, some carrots, and these are going to be amazing in this toasty. Now, the little curveball that I think works so well is have a few little bits of pickle in there. So standard stuff, guys. We've got a few little cornichons here, silver skinned onions. So just a couple, that's all you need. Chop them up, and every now and again, you're going to get a little kick of that. It's delicious. And then you need something, of course, to bind it and make it oozy and delicious. So we're going to use some gorgeous cheddar cheese. Of course, at this time of year, you've got loads and loads of cheese in your fridge, so feel free to blend the cheeses. But I think, of course, cheddar is a really good cheese for melting. It's delicious in flavour. So about 60 grams for two toasties is spot on. So look, mix this up. What I love about this recipe is whether it's for two people, four, six, ten, it doesn't matter. This is the easiest thing in the world. A hot, gooey, toasty sandwich. The festive kind of joy doesn't stop. Cranberry sauce but that little kick of sweetness. I'm just going to do it on one side. I'll take a nice little handful of our mix here. I'm going to place the bread on top. Now, what I like to do for a really nice toasty is lightly butter the outside of the bread. That's going to give you a nice golden crispy crust. So I've got a brown bread here, but it's really soft. Perfect for a toasty. So put these lovely little sarnies into a nice, large, quality non-stick pan on a medium heat. You don't want it to be too hot. If it gets too golden and crisp too quickly, you won't get that gorgeous ooze in the middle, and that's what we want. Crispiness, ooziness. So medium heat for about three minutes on each side. Another little curveball that could just change your life. Having some gorgeous gravy to dip your corner of oozy Christmas toasty in it's just a thing of joy. <laughs> it just really is a thing of joy. So this has had about three minutes. Let's have a little look. Oh, that's what we want. And that as well. If you've got a little spatula, press down. If you're lucky, a little bit of cheese will kind of squeeze out from the middle and start going down the side and kind of like melting, getting golden and crispy on the outside. We love a bit of spillage. Definitely love a bit of spillage on this one. And if you don't get that, just a little bit of cheese, just on top and around. It gives you the most amazing crispy bits and it's just gonna be the best toasty ever. Let's just have a quick little clear down and then I'm gonna show you the quickest little salad that works well with this. It could be apple, it could be pear. Put it on its side and do little thin slices. And then almost line it up like a pack of cards. Try and do thin little slices that way to do nice little matchsticks, okay? Really, really simple dressing. A little shake of white or red wine vinegar. That will stop it discoloring. Just like a tablespoon, not even that. Pinch of salt and pepper and a kiss of olive oil. And we'll just toss that up like that. The sweetness and crunch of apple or pear with that toasty is a thing of joy. Go with any salad leaf you like, but I love peppery greens like watercress. So get a nice handful of that and just dress it. And that is the quickest little board salad you could ever make. We've got the toasty of all toasties. Look at that. Because everyone likes the little gooey bit, right? They love the gooey bit. So if you just cut it and like pull it apart, it's not gonna happen, right? So if you cut it and then leave it and just give it a little pat, that's how you get that. Ugh, that's the exciting bit. Hot gravy, don't matter how much you got, a little bit, a lot, just go with the flow. So come on, it's a cold, miserable day. You've had Christmas, you've got over the excitement and then you put this together. The ultimate Christmas toasty. Ah, yes. Oh, have a look at this. The nice little gnarly bits of cheese. Inside here, it's just oozy and cheesy and glorious. Look at that. Have a dip and get it in your mouth. It's a thing of joy. Hot, cold, crispy, gooey. Mmm. Oh. Yeah. 
It's so good. It is so flipping good. Guys, what are you waiting for? Get in that fridge, have a look at the leftovers, get yourself a toasty. Nice little bit of salad, bit of gravy. Happy days and happy Christmas. If you want to see more of my festive hints and tips, go to tesco.com forward slash recipes.